Hi, this is Dave, Fellering Guide. Welcome to another navigation task. And this one is about spot heights. So what you need to do in this task is work out the spot height of each of these five um, points here. So the spot heights are these little black dots. So what height are those? Now, what information have we got? Well, all we know is that we've got a spot height there of 503 meters. So what we need to do is work out what the contour intervals are between the contours to be able to work out what the spot heights are. And if you're not sure what I mean by contour intervals, then have a look at the video that is shown in the linked in the top right hand corner of the screen now, which talks about contour intervals index contours and spot heights and that will help you um, get the answer to this. So we know from the map that it is a 1 to 50,000 ordnance survey map. How do we know that? Well that's because of the public right of way here and here shown as a pinky purpley red line that gives away that it's the 1 to 50,000 and on the 1 to 50,000 the contour intervals are in 10 meters. So we know that each of these contours goes up in tens. So how do we work this out? Well, we know that that is the 503 spot height. So this index contour has got to be the 500. Then we've got to work out whether this next one is above or below it. So are we going downhill or uphill? Well, we can see we've got a water source there draining that way source there, drain that way, source there, drain that way. So it makes sense that we're going downhill as we head south or southwestwards. So if that's the 500, this is going to be the 450, this is going to be the 400, and this bit here is a little col where we then start to go back up the other side. So that is going to be 440, 430, 420, and then back up again, 420, 430, 440. So spot height number one has got to be between 440 and 450. Now we can see 445. So going on to number two, so continuing downhill, so if that's 400, 350, 300, but here again, you see we're going down to um, a low point there and then back up the other side. So this thick index contour around the spot height is going to be the 350 height. So number two has got to be between 350 and 360 meters. Actually 351. Okay, on to number three then. So we know that this is the 300 contour, the index contour. And then looking there, there's another index contour right next to it, which means two things. Either the ground is really, really steep and there's no room for the intermediate contours, or it's the same value. So if we think here, if we were to go down and cross that stream and then across the other side, what that's actually telling us is it's flat from there to there. So that value index contour is the same as that value. So we go up to, so that's going to tell us that that's 300, 310, 320. So it's got to be, that spot height, it's got to be between 320 and 330. Now we have 329. Okay, so we know that that's 300. That's going to be 350. We're going back up again this time. And then 360, 370, 380. So that value has got to be between 380 and 390. There we have it. And then the final one, well, if this is a 350 meter contour, it's got to be between 360 and 370 because we're going back up again. So let's have a look. Yeah, it's actually 370. Um, it's not shown as an extra contour line on there just because it's just actually the height of 370 at that point. No room to show an extra contour line in there. So what you will notice is that there's no real way of knowing whether that spot height is just above 
the previous value in that case just one meter above or quite a way above in that case eight meters above in that case it's a full 10 meters above even though another contour line isn't shown so it's not really um, easy to sort of work out the height based on how close the dot is to the next contour line because it would actually um, that would depend on which way you're approaching the spot height wouldn't it so if you're coming um, in this direction heading southwest and you got to there it's quite a way before you got to that spot height but that doesn't mean to say that it's close to the um, the 450 so anyway that's those are the answers I hope you got them right so that shows that being able to interpret up and down on contour lines as well as knowing the vertical interval on specific maps is going to really help us and um, i hope you found it interesting thanks for watching look out for more of these navigation tasks bye for now